okay guys today on this tutorial I will be teaching you about how to make a simple slip and blender it's kind of simple and won't take much of your time so before you start wondering why my blender is looking like this uh, I'm using another thing for blender apart from the custom or basic thing that you see so but you don't have to worry everything flows and go the same way as your blender no matter what team you are using okay first of all we start by deleting this cube delete and then add the uv sphere mesh uv sphere okay and we grab it place maybe in the middle uh zoom on it zoom on it uh please forgive my slow computer is kind of very slow but you still do some works for you people to understand okay then uh we scale this down on the z axis so press x then z and you scale it on the x axis then bring it down a little bit uh wherever radius you want it's kind of fine i think it will be okay so if you are using the pie menu you press tab and enter edit mode of course you can use this uh, panel here to go to the edit or object mode but I would rather use the pie menu mode to do those or such so now let me enter edit ok now I'll orbit this so I can see the top of course I want to press this number 7 key to show you from top view because I want it to show some areas which the top view might not show so I won't advise you press the numpad sound key at all so continue on that aspect you pan and pan and I rotate and there you can see something so I deselect all then select using the circle select tool just press C and you'll be able to use the circle select tool so press C, you use the circle select tool and uh, position your circle on, on the middle side and just click that is enough and press right click to get out of your circle select tool orbit it and grab it on the z axis uh, then scale on the y ok and X okay then push it down a little bit the pile which length you find comfortable but I find this to be very comfortable as you make it look a little bit realistic like how fan do look like or how you find look like or looks like yeah so I'm going back to object mode. Remember, you can go back to edit or object mode, and on this panel right here, go back to edit and go back to object. If you're using the pie menus, then you can press tab and it will show you all those type of things. So, sorry, not with paint. So going back to edit mode, you come. Uh, I can zoom in. Then, before I do anything else. You should have the mirror modifier enabled. So, expand this panel right here. Expand, and uh, on the modifier panel, you just add modifier and look for mirror. And there it is, mirror. And press Control Tab, which will show you what type of select mode you want to choose. So, for this one, I will choose face select, and I'll rotate it a little bit and press shift plus RMB to select multiple faces or vertices or edges depends on which make select mode you choose so I'll just select uh, four faces rotate a little bit grab on the X axis and my mirror modifier does the work uh, I don't need to do it at the other side because it can cause inaccurate measurements. So that is done. We do this. Of course, you can expand it if you want. Let me expand a little bit. 
so it can look more realistic. Uh, we'll do this for this side to zoom in. Select four faces. You should shift plus R and B, shift R and B, shift R and B. Just press down the shift and press R and B along. So now I select four faces and uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see uh, on the look y axis oh oh yeah let's not forget get before you can edit the faces on this side you first have to deselect the faces on the, this side which we edited <sighs> that is the fan blade here uh, I already did that I had to break in transmission for some recorrection but I already did that. So before you can edit the faces here, you have to first deselect by selecting on any faces. Um, faces. So let's say I select multiple faces here. Uh, I cannot deselect by only pressing R and B or the right mouse button on a particular face. Any face will do, even the one here, and the all other faces have been deselected. So I'll select four faces here. I need to rotate a little bit. I'll select four faces. Uh, one. Uh, let me select them. One, two, three, four. And I'll before I can grab on the y-axis for the mirror modifier to work on the y-axis, I have to go to mirror modifier and click Y. So it enable mirror the Y modifier. Okay. So. We grab before I do that, and I'll rotate a little bit and grab on the y axis. And now you see that it has its effect on the y axis. Now, let me undo that and on click y axis and try and grab to the y axis. It only grab in one direction because of the y axis is not enabled on the mirror modifier. So, when you, once you enable it. You can grab on the y axis, so I'm now able to grab on the y axis once it has been enabled in the mirror modifier. So, seeing that, let me reduce this a little bit. Oh. And that look kind of good, yeah, look good. So, the last thing you want to do now is to remove doubles, and how you can do that is by pressing W. And remove doubles, and well, surprisingly, remove zero facilities, which is very surprising because the last time I did this, I can have 1,280 facilities removed. But I would suggest you always do that, do that to prevent your mesh from looking uh, using the word web. Yeah. So we go back to object mode. Now looking at this. Oh, sorry. I'll do that. Look at this, it can look like a ceiling fan or uh, with this kind of ball you see in ceiling fans. So I say it look good, uh, but one thing is it has to look a little bit smooth. So I will say you enable smooth shading at this panel and uh, it kind of look good. Yeah, and let me add the material to that. Oh, lest I forget, I would suggest you use Cycles Render because it's better and more realistic. So cycles render uh, new material so we can see better lens change color to red. I love red and uh, change it to texture mm, render. Let me see. Yeah, look at red, good. But once I render it, truly render it using cycles render, you should see its realism. So, uh, going back to solid, and well, uh, this is just how to make it. So, give me some moments, I'll render it in a second. Uh, so, guys, this is how it looks when rendered. Uh, it's just something simple. I'm not basing it on uh, realism, just something simple. You can experiment on how you like it, how you want it to be. If you want it to be more realistic, change the textures, anything you want. Of course, this is just a demo. Uh, I have made something like this. Uh, have, this is a preview of the image. It's just how you want it to be according to your taste. 
or you can increase the blaze of the fan and I want it and I feel like so just based on mm, let me say experiment just experiment see what you like and uh, I can't tell you just do what you want so I hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any comments if you have any questions let me know in the comments <laughs> and not otherwise or anything I want it uh, let me know if you have any problem if you can't cash up if you are confused let me know I'll be very very glad to help and I'll see you in the next tutorial